Hi all, welcome to Kothayat channel. Let's take a look at the image classification model which we are going to build from scratch. So here is our final project of image classification model. So here it takes the image name as an input which are there in this folder here and it will identify whether it is a fruit or vegetable with the here it is saying which of fruit is in image is apple with an accuracy of 99.95 and let's go here copy for banana and go here and change the name banana so it is displaying the banana image yeah fruit in image is banana with an accuracy of 46.91 let's take another one chili okay press enter yeah so virgin fruit image is paprika with an accuracy of 100 percent accuracy okay that's cool let's go to google and search for cabbage some other things yeah images cabbage and i'm saving this image cabbage just have to cabbage changing home copying this image and coming here and yeah image is cabbage with an accuracy of 80.46 so this is our image classification model works First things first, we are going to build image classification neural network with the help of the TensorFlow Keras. So TensorFlow Python library is developed by the Google. It will work like an API interface. We just have to pass the valid arguments to the functions of the TensorFlow. That's it. It will take care of the rest of the business. Okay. Usual stuff. Every model needs the training data set and test data set. In addition to that, this TensorFlow model which we are going to build here is sequential model for this one we are going to give another data set which is called the validation data set so why we are giving this validation data set is sometimes what will happen is when we train the model on the training data set it will be fitting the only particularly based upon the values on the training data set in real time it may not give the accurate results because training data set and reality data set might get differ so our model completely relies upon the training data set so to avoid that issues in the real time what we are doing here is we are carrying another data set which is called the validation data set so here we are giving the validation data set as well to the model when it is getting trained right so what exactly happens is when model is getting trained based upon the training data set at each and every step it will validate its results again it's this validation data set as well so that our model accuracy will be increased when the model is creating itself so that will give the highly accurate results in the real time so once we train our model then we'll be doing the testing so testing will be done with the completely new images which we found it in the google here so we will try we will test our model with the google images so once we do the testing of our model then we'll be deploying it as a web publication as you guys seen in the earlier video so now let's start with the coding so here i have created a project called image classification folder here inside this we have the folder name called fruits and vegetables inside that we have three data sets one is test data set and another one is train data set and another one is validation data set so each and every folder inside this folder will having the subfolders with the name of the fruit or vegetable which we are going to have so let's take an example of apple so instead of this apple folder it, con it contains the images of the apples and cabbage same thing similar to that so we have eggplant garlic ginger grapes kiwi lemon mango onion orange so similarly if you have 36 36 items total here so 36 items of fruits or vegetables we have taken it as a test data set and similarly we have the training data set and here we have the validation data set as well here okay so don't worry about this guys this data set i will be giving this data set link to the in the description box you guys can download it there and now let's start with the coding uh, opening my jupyter lab command.exe and type in jupyter lab So our Jupyter notebook is ready. Now let me create new one and let me rename it as image classification model. Okay. Here we need a couple of Python libraries. 
which you want to install when you are running it for the first time in your system so open command prompt and type in pip install we need tensorflow here and uh, tensorflow and streamlit to deploy it as a web application and uh, matplotlib to draw the some charts and uh, numpy and pandas as usual so if you are running if you are using these libraries for the first time in your system just type in pip install on the python library names and hit enter so these python libraries will automatically install in your system i am not going to install it here because i already have them uh, let's start with the coding okay import numpy as np and import pandas as pd and import matplotlib dot pyplot as plot and what else we need we need tensorflow as well right import tensorflow as df and from tensorflow import keras okay from tensorflow dot keras we are going to import layers okay from tensorflow what else we need we have layers and um, keras i think we should be good now okay let me import okay it's getting imported so now the next important challenging part here is so we have the data set in the form of the folders right so we have to load this data into arrays right so we have to let's do that into numpy arrays so what i am going to do is we have a built in function in the tensorflow which will do the needful for us okay what we have to do is we have to pass this folder names then it will automatically create a data set on top of that okay so let's take some paths here to be created and first is data on scope training path and what is this training path let me go here this is training copy path similar way data on score train on score test data is equals to same path just changing it here as test and data on score train on score validation data set is equals to same thing and i'm renaming it as validation okay now we have the paths and the next step we have to, what we have to do here is we have to set our images in a similar size okay so its image will be having in different dimensions right so but here we are going to fit all those images into in a fixed fit okay and fixed height so image width is equals to 180 and image height is equals to 180 okay we have set that now so so now we have the data set but data set is in the form of images and the images are there in the inside the folders we cannot train our model from the disk right so what we have to do is we have to bring the data set into the form of arrays so what we are going to do here is so we are going to use the one of the functionality which has provided by the tensorflow load from the disk okay so let's do that data on score train is equals to tf dot so i already explained right so tensorflow works in the apm interface right so we have to identify the our job here is to identify the proper function and we have to pass the proper arguments to that function then it will do the needful for us okay so here we have to pass tf keras dot utilities dot oh sorry utilities dot you see here these are the list of the functions so but for us we need image data set from the directory so what it does is it will read the data from the disk and then it will load it into the form of this data and score train array okay so first argument that we have to pass it here is the path of the data set so here is data training path and next one is shuffle yes i wanted to shuffle my data set true okay and uh, we have to recycle images right so image size is equals to image width comma image height right so then we have to pass the path 
we are shuffling our data set from the directory and image set we are recycling all the images to 180 versus 180 and then batch size is equals to and yeah we have to just comma this equals to 32 images and uh, the other one we have to go is validation split so why the validation split what it does is so if you are giving if you are having only one data set it will split the data set into two parts one is the training data set and another one is the validation data set here we have already split the test data set and validation data sets right so i am passing it as a false otherwise we have to pass it as a true so press enter so it gives a message that it had rate 3115 files which are belonging to 36 classes so we have 36 types of the fruits and vegetables in the folders and out of those it found 3115 files okay now let's see type that what are the different types of fruits or vegetables which we have okay let our scope try tab here class names okay so these are the different types of fruits and vegetables okay which we have so i am loading it into one data set data underscore category okay now we have done it for the training data set now we have to do it for the test data set and validation data sets okay let's do it then again data and score validation is equals to tf dot kera start utility start image data set from directory data and score validation and score path and image size is equals to image height image width and batch size is equals to 32 and shuffle i'm passing it as false as it is validation no need and uh, finally validation split is equals to false data okay i made a mistake here what i have to do is training test okay data and scope okay okay i made mistake here data and scope test path and data and score validation path given the wrong names re-executing all the steps okay here yeah it's done so it found 351 files which are belonging to 36 different call classes in the validation data set okay so now we have the validation data set and we have the training data set now what we have to do is let's do same for the validation sorry test data set as well data and score test is equals to tf dot kera start utilities so what we are doing here is uh, again path data and score test and score path come on and image size is equals to image height and image width okay and shuffle is equals to false and what else batch size is equals to 32 images per batch now validation split is equals to false so even here also we have 359 files which belongs to 36 different classes now we have read the data from the disk to data sets into the rs okay training data set and validation data set and test data set now we have the three data sets okay now what i am going to do is let's print some images from the training data set okay and what i am going to do here is plot that figure of fix size is equals to 10 comma 10 okay mm, and uh, for image comma labels in data and score trying dot take of one okay and for i in range of nine okay 
and what we have to do is it will subplot will be printing nine images right subplot of three comma three comma i plus one now plot dot image show okay uh, image of i dot np array dot as type of um, as type of unidentified integer okay now plot dot title of data and scope category of labels of i <coughs> so we are printing the images along with this labels okay mm, something is wrong and we are throwing error message let's check it out what is the issue <coughs> tensorflow.python framework option huh? no. numpy Okay, uh, let me know. Don't, let's me off the access. So here we have nine images, right? So sweet corn, grapes, cabbage, and ginger, orange, pineapple, chili pepper, jalapeno, and banana. So this is how the images along with the labels. Okay, now we have the data set is ready. Now what we have to do is we have to create a model first, right? So here we are going to build the sequential model okay and model is equals to sequential and okay and what we have to do is we have to pass the layers we have to create the layers right so layers start first i have to do is recycle i will do so every image will be stored in the form of data set in the sense it will be divided into three colors one is r g b red green and blue so every color in the world is a combination of the colors of r g b red and green and blue so these images will be stored in the data set in the form of r g b so each and every color will be stored in the from red green and blue in the form of red so the maximum value for the each color red and green and blue is 0 to 255 so maximum value is 255 so i am going to divide this with the 255 so everything will be between the values of the colors will be 0 and 1 okay that's what i am doing here uh, it is not showing let me do one thing i have to import this uh, model as well uh, let me do that first so whenever it is not giving any suggestions means you have to go through that and it you might be missing some variables input okay from tf dot keras dot models import sequential okay uh, tensorflow okay right tensorflow stf okay uh, let me type in here tensorflow okay we have the sequential now yeah if you see here race scaling we have to do that and I'd like to divide each and every color with the divided by 255 that is the maximum number right so i have create i'm doing the recycling now in the model and the next step I'm going to do is let me add 2D. Calm 2D. So it's a 2D. It will convert that. So we have having three colors, right? 180 by 180, right? So it will be converted into only one D array. Okay. And uh, image width and height, right? So before that, let me show you something here. Okay. Let me print data and scope. Try 
if you see here it is 180 180 and 3 so this 180 is a pixels of the height and 180 pixels of the width and this 3 is rgb red and green and blue right so what i am doing here is this can will do that this can will convert this 180 into 180 into single one and then the next one will be the combination of rgb okay so for this one and then this will be a layer as well okay and i'm creating 16 units neurons and canal size will be 3 and padding is equals to same and we need for every layer we need the activation right so here activation is relu okay so don't worry about these terminologies guys i'll be making a video in my channel on this keras models and how to do this passing of activation and everything so completely i'm making a video on this uh, how to make the cnn models with the keras okay stay tuned for my channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and please enable the notification as well so you will be getting the notification whenever i upload any videos and here we have created contouring now we have be doing maximum pulling right max pulling 3d max pulling 2d and what else we have layers dot so we have to create multiple layers right so i'm doing that come to the and here we have given there six that's 16 right so here i'm going to give 32 neurons and three same and padding is equals to same and situation is equals to relu okay it is very difficult to remember all these things so that's the reason i'll be going with the suggestions okay if you give if you click on the tab in the Jupyter notebook, it will be showing the suggestions. Okay, and max pulling 2D. Okay, now layers dot this com 2D uh, layer output will be input to the max pulling 2D. Okay, and again, this is one layer, and here we'll build building another second layer. Okay, com 2D, and here I would like to have three more, three sorry. 60 count to and 64 3 and padding is equals to same oh, oh. and activation is equals to relu okay now you have to Close this layer with max pull to the right. Max pulling. So now we have created three layers, and what I'm going to do is help me flattening my data set. Okay. Flattening my layer. Next, what I'll be doing is I'll be having the drop out 0 0.2 and i'll be having my dense layer dense 128 units and layer dot dense of units equals to so we are going to have 36 units here right so 36 different types of categories are there okay so length of data and score category okay rescaling is done dropout is done flattening is done dense is done maximum pulling is done so I'm pressing enter. layer not found okay i just type it as layer i have to change it to layers okay our model had been created now we have to do the compiling of model right so model dot compile of compiling we have to pass three arguments one is optimizer and here i am going to have adam and loss is equals to df dot kera start until start oh where I have 
classes here this is classes dot here we have to choose category class entropy from is equals to correct true and uh, matrix I would like to have is a accuracy accuracy okay so compilation of our model also done now let me print the summary of the model Oh, it is telling model as built, so we have to pass the variables first, right? So let me pass the variables first. Uh, model dot fit off, and here how many epochs I would like to have? Twenty five epochs, okay. And history is equals to model dot fit off uh, data and scope training data set, and here we have option of validation data is equals to data and score val and epochs is equals to epochs and uh, batch size we can give here batch size is equals to 32 and uh, verbose i can give as one Okay, let me remove this one. I have to pass Unix here, and here should be category color. Okay, pass category class entropy, changing them. Okay, and uh, here maybe box size. Box size, just renaming them. That says anyways we are given here. Let me remove that stuff over here. Okay. And let me do shift enter. Okay. Model is done. Compile is done. Now fit it. Yeah, now it's working. So maybe I should not be giving units here. So we have to just pass the length. That's the mistake I have done. And I'm removing this. So, so let's see what we have done so far. So we have imported necessary libraries here and we have created a path for each and every data set, train data set, test data set and validation data set. And we have scaled all the images to the width of 180 and height is equals to 180. And we have read the data from the directory to the data sets, train data set. So in training data set, we have 3,115 files, which belongs to the 36 classes and category here. We have taken it into a one list and same for the validation and same for the test and here we have printed the random nine images from the training data set and we have created a sequential model here so with the rescaling so as i said earlier each and every image will be stored in the form of the data set with the combination of rgb colors and maximum of color from 0 to 255 the range so i'm rescaling that every color to in between 0 and 1 so that's the reason i'm dividing it with the 255 which is a maximum number and i'm creating the layers three layers with a combination of con 2d and maximum pull of maximum pulling of 2d and one with the 16 neurons and another one is 32 and another one is 64 and activation is relo i'm using here and i'm flattening the data here and dropout is 0 0.2 so dropout will be used to uh, make that model is not overfitting and we have the dense okay dense by the 128 layers and we are we are passing the 36 categories right so we are passing that length of 36 so we have to have the data will be classified in the 36 categories and here we are using the optimizer as adam and loss is equals to keras losses plus pass categorical entropy and we are printing the accuracy as well so if you observe carefully here so this 98 will be batches right so if you divide this 3115 divided by 32 it will be coming around 37 batches 37 point something so it has taken 38 batches so for every epoch so for the 25 epochs so it will be running for the 98 batches and 
it is nearly taking one one and a half minute one minute closely one minute for each epoch and if you see here the loss is 3.47 and accuracy is 0 0.09 which is for the training data set and for the validation data set the loss is 2.4 and the accuracy is 0 0.3 okay so if you see here closely this accuracy and uh, validation accuracy both are getting impre increasing for each and every epoch so it has to repeat for the 25 epochs right so let's wait for some more time okay finally our final epoch is also completed so total 25 epochs are completed and if you see here the accuracy in the first the first epoch was 0 0.098 for the training data set and for the validation data set it is 0 0.34 just 34 percent if you see here it's keep on increasing based upon for every epoch and finally it had reached the maximum of 95 percent and the accuracy is around 98 percent of the training data set okay let's draw some charts between the training accuracy versus the validation data set accuracy okay for that um, epox range is equals to range of range is equals to range of um, epox size okay and now let's try a graph plot dot figure of fix size is equals to let's take 8 comma 8 that should be fine now plot dot subplot of and let's try subplot now and comma 2 comma 2 mm, plot dot plot of um, plot dot plot of mm, epox range and uh, she oh history of um, accuracy right so let me keep accuracy okay and the label is equals to this is training accuracy okay and plot dot plot of a box range comma mm, history dot history of validation data set accuracy and uh, label is equals to validation accuracy okay now plot that show wait plot dot title we have to give it as um, accuracy okay let's draw same for the last as well okay i'm just copy pasting okay comma two comma one hmm. of loss loss okay Okay, find another plot here. If you see here, so initially it started around 0.04, but it now finally reached almost 97 98%. That is fine. And even though if you see the loss here, earlier it was 3.5%, 35% at least, it had been reduced to at least 0 0.0 to 0 0.05. So that is fine. Okay, our model is doing fine. Now let's take one sample of example of uh, images and then let's see whether the model is predicting properly or not. Okay, first uh, I'm going to the here test data set. I'm copying. Um, yeah, let's take this apple image classification here. I'm just rename it as apple and um, test data set. Now let's copy con mm, copy this one okay hmm. con and uh, yeah these two and let's go to google and then take some pictures over there mm, let's take banana okay 
Let me just okay. Okay, let me take these ones. Okay. Save image Python image classification. Okay, this is a web file. No. Okay, we need JPG files. Yeah. Python image classification. Okay. Banana. Okay. We have banana now. Now what else? Paprika. Hmm. Paprika. Hmm. Let's take some pepper. Okay. Hmm. So now we have enough images. Now let's start with one image at a time. Okay. Image is equals to I'm going back, copying apple first, copy path. Okay, we have taken image path now. Okay. So once we take the image, we have to print it as a image equals to tf dot kera start till start load image okay we are pausing the image path and uh, target size is equals to image height comma image width okay image is ready now we have to convert it into array okay tf dot kera start set image array Let's pass this image and image dimension, image batch, right? We have to create batches, right? So tf dot mm, tf dot forward. Let me just check it out. Ct. Yeah, expand dimensions. Oof. Image array comma zero. Okay, it's ready. Oh, it's showing some error. Mm. Has no attribute image. Hmm. I to image. Okay, I to image. Image. Okay, that is fine. Now we have to pass it to our model, right? So predict is equals to model dot predict of image and score batch final image so our model had predicted it in bah, one one seven milliseconds really fast now we have to find the score score is equals to tf dot n n dot uh, soft max of predict okay let's paint paint Restable are flow in images okay with accuracy of point okay format of let's format it up uh, Data and scope um, data and scope category of uh, np dot argument max of the highest one right scope and uh, comma uh, np dot max of scope 
10 to 100 okay should work parenthesis does not match incomplete input okay format closed print and should be closed field value error hmm. Wedge of fruit in image is apple with accuracy of 99.95. Yes, it is apple man. Correct. A model is predicting. Now let's check for banana. Oh, banana with accuracy of just 46. Seems like our model got confused. Let's check for chili. C H I L L I. Paprika, correct, wow. with 100% accuracy. That's cool. Maybe this image might be part of our uh, training at validation data set. That's what I'm suspecting. Oh, corn, sweet corn with 78.90. That is also cool. Let's build the web application. So, to build the web application, we have to save our model, right? So, let's save our model. Model dot save of what we have to do. Um, image classify dot keras this is a model name and i'm saving this model if you see that our model had been created now we are done with the jupyter lab now let's move on to the visual studio for the web application okay okay now here we are with the visual studio opening the folder yes this is the folder now python image classification selecting the folder okay now here we are let's create the app and that by okay now let's build the application import tensorflow as tf import from tensorflow dot keras dot model import from keras tensorflow import keras from tensorflow dot keras dot models import Hmm. Hmm. Tensorflow.keras models import model. Okay. Now what we have to do is um, streamlit right import. Streamlit will import it later. So now let's import the rest of the model and everything. Okay model is equals to what we have the model mm. load model here is the model mm. copy path okay we have opened our model some typos now you have to read the image right so image is equals to just copying this image for default okay copy the path and here we have the rest of the code right let me copy from here to there okay and predict okay this prediction is done okay now we have everything so we don't have data category so this is what we have to do that we have to copy the complete category so we cannot get those class names from the model here now so we have to cap it manually so I have printed it somewhere in the starting okay here let me data scope get so here is the list just 
copy pasting hmm. okay data category is done image width and height have to give minimum image underscore height equals to 180 and image weight is equals to 180 done and here is the image is equals to image okay and uh, hmm. print now let's take streamlit import streamlit as sd okay and here what we have to do is sd dot image of image image load okay changing it okay here we are printing the image and instead of here ST dot right okay saving it and uh, yeah run in python dedicated terminal see for any errors mm, something is coming load model is coming as error unable to find file Oh, sorry. Just copy the path here. I have to copy this one. Copy path. Closing it. Pasting. Okay. Run. Okay, it's running fine. NP. Okay, I have to numpy as well. Import. Numpy as NP. Okay, we are done now should be good okay now I'm just taking stream date run app dot py okay our model is running np is not defined mm, let me go here I have defined it Saying okay. okay, uh, here we have printed. Let me just tweak this code a little bit. Mm. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Let me rerun. Okay, it's coming. Image is not printing because it is taking whole image. Mm, here, ST dot right. Just with accuracy of accuracy of. P dot max of scope. Okay. Just here rerun. It's rerunning. P dot max of scope. So hundred. Okay. Rerun. Mm, is Apple NP dot max of score into hundred? Mm, that's what we have been using here, right? Mm.
saving it rerunning it okay it's a string i have to convert it into string so now rerun so now our model is ready so it's printing the numbers and uh, yeah edge of fruit in image is apple with accuracy of this one so i have to print this image right mm, let me do one thing if i take only apple that is it is it working mm. hmm. okay it's simply working we just take the image name here okay apple.jpg banana.jpg it will be working so what i'll do is um instead of here st.text input enter image path maze name comma and so by default it will be having apple.jpg okay so here is the final project looks like so uh, just add one thing here mm. st dot header okay uh, header as um, st dot header image classification model I'm just saving it so coming here I'm just uh, going here I run yes. okay just putting it top so here is our final project of image classification model so here it takes the image name as an input which are there in this folder here and it will identify whether it is a fruit or vegetable with the here it is saying which of fruit is in image is apple with an accuracy of 99.95 and let's go here copy for banana and go here and change the name banana so it is displaying the banana image yeah fruit in image is banana with an accuracy of 46.91 let's take another one chili okay center yeah so wedge and fruit image is paprika with an accuracy of 100 percent accuracy okay that's cool let's go to google and search for cabbage some other things yeah images cabbage and i'm saving this image cabbage just have to cabbage changing home copying this image and coming here and yeah image is cabbage with an accuracy of 80.46 so this is how our image classification model works thanks guys thanks for watching this video if you guys have any questions please do comment in the comment section if you like this video please do like and subscribe to our channel